we come to expect the Red Cross whenever there's disaster. Um, you know, from my earliest days in, in grade school, whether it was for a blood drive or or what, it's, it's, it's become part of the fabric, I think, in our, our country. And uh, we, don't, uh, we don't give it a second thought that the Red Cross will be there. I was wounded on May 7th of 2007. I was, uh, re I was returning from a memorial service uh, for two soldiers that had been killed, uh, heading back to my headquarters in a, in a four-vehicle convoy. I was a uh, vehicle number three, uh, and my vehicle was struck by a roadside bomb or improvised explosive device. I would note, and I think this is an appropriate audience to, to share this with you, is that um, um, if it wasn't for, for blood and, and large amounts of blood, um, I, I wouldn't be here. In the first few hours uh, after being wounded, I went through over 120 pints of blood. And so, um, you know, I, I, that slogan, the gift of life, um, blood is really, uh, really has meaning to me. When it got time to put my prosthetics on, we realized that I didn't have any shoes and we needed some shoes to put on my prosthetic legs and the Red Cross was right there. And uh, uh, what was really profound was, uh, I think there was some, the brightest yellow New Balance shoes, size 12, that I've ever seen in my life. And, and those are my shoes. And um, um, I really felt pretty special having those yellow shoes on my, on my, uh, my prosthetic legs. But again, it, it, this, it may seem uh, small, but the fact is, is that the Red Cross was there.